What's, what's going on guys, so in today's video I'm going to be talking about Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Now, if you're here, just to see what, see what I think about it, before I do start ran rambling on. It is an amazing game, it's 9 out of 10, the reason I say 9 out of 10 is because sometimes you would run, you, you'd be like running, you'd be running, you'd be like running, and then there's like a there's like a table, like that big, and then you run up the table, and you think you would run over it, but no, you just run, and then you run up the table, and then there's some invisible wall that you just run up, and it's like it's, it's mainly tables that are near wall. There's like a then there's a, a wall there, and like obviously the floor or whatever. And there's a table here. You can barely see it, but you see my thumb here. There's a table here, and you run like this way, so the wall's here, and you run this way, but you climb up. So you have to go round the table just to actually go go anywhere, and that's irritating. Like. So and then sometimes you would like run in a different run in a di direction, and then you go like it's just the movement is not clean at all. Now, I think that's just in Assassin's Creed games anyway, where it's just not clean because you can literally climb anything. Obviously, I think it was Odyssey that I played last before I started to play the old ones. I mean, and Odyssey. That game was amazing. You could, if there was a mountain there, you could literally climb it just like instantly, just like that. You can climb literally anything in Odyssey. But I didn't even know there was another Assassin's Creed that came out. That came out, I think it was Odyssey and then something else. Oh, it was Odyssey. Oh, it was something else and then Odyssey. But I didn't even know one came out because they were literally the exact same games, but not even like not even changed whatsoever. But with Valhalla, uh, Syndicate, and Black Flag. It's totally different ones, but obviously the same mechanic, mechanics, mechanics. I don't know what whatever it's called. The same running, the same parkour, the same you jump down and stab people and and all that. And but yeah, black flag is the oh yeah a good thing about the black flag is the ships. Every, that, the only reason I wanted to play that is because everyone loved black flag, so obviously I, I played it and tried it out. But the sh the people are actually correct. The ships are literally ha are the best bit about Black Flag. Like literally the best thing about Black Flag is the ship battles where it's like cannons and stuff, and you can draw like a massive ship, and you can upgrade the cannons, you can upgrade the the hull, you can upgrade the like the ram, the hull's the health, the ram is obviously ram damage, uh, the cannons are obviously cannons, and you can upload swivels, which is like these little things that go that are on the side, and when you actually like. Damage damage an enemy ship enough where the health is low. You can actually bard them and still and like and like kill them all. You bard when you bard them. There's like a little swivel cannon that you can obviously get on, and then you can like use that to like kill the bad kill the bad guys or the the red coats or the I think they're like yellow coats, Spanish and British. So you can kill them and use the cannonballs to kill them, and then you can jump on the ship and. Do or whatever, because normally when you bard them, it's either kill all the soldiers, or kill the commanders and kill the soldiers. Or, I mean, it, it's like kill 20 soldiers and kill like two commanders. Or it could be destroy the flag at the top of it, where you have to climb parkour up to the top, destroy the flag and that flies down, and then kill like 20 soldiers. But those are for like the, the galleons and stuff like that. But it is, but yeah, the, the ship mechanics are amazing. Absolutely just the best. Everything about that game is the best. But again, the running, the running bull, the running baloney is like sometimes weird. It's like, I want to say glitches. It's just the parkour isn't as clean as like the games nowadays. But I think, well, I've not really played a Valhalla yet. I've only played Odyssey, and I think that was the only game that I played that was more soon. I'm playing Syndicate now. I've not completed that at all. I'm probably going to do like a review, like my opinion on it. But I've not done the syndicate review. I just guess the four minutes twenty, four twenty. But anyway, yeah. I'm gonna use this segment to basically ask you, please comment down below what what you want me to play, what games you want me to play, what what stuff you want, what videos what you want me to do, etc. Like, I'm really wanting to start my YouTube channel and grow more and let people subscribe to me more and stuff like that. But obviously my quality isn't good because this is this what I'm using to record myself is a 2016 2016 tablet from Samsung 
So obviously it's not the best quality as you can because in my room my light is literally on. As you can see, my light is on, like here. But obviously, it, it, to me it's bright in here. But obviously it's not for you. Because it's, I guess the, ca the camera quality is not that good. And obviously if I look closer, it's like glitchy. And but this is from the 26 2016 Samsung, so you would expect it to be. I've not got anything. I've even still got an Xbox One. I think I'm going to get one of the new consoles for Christmas because I've asked for it. But I might ask for a phone for my birthday, which is February 1st. Anyway, so please comment down what you want. I want to do like a video where I just talk about random stuff. As in, like, you ask me questions, but obviously it's hard to, like, get questions from when your channel has, like, one subscriber, which I appreciate that person <laughs> and subscribing. But like, I do want to get, I don't, I don't want to do giveaways in the future. Obviously, giveaways obviously lead to, like, popularity, if that even makes sense. As in, like, you want to do, you do a giveaway and people are like, yeah, I'll subscribe and stuff. And then that leads on to like retweets and then you get more people and more people might see your face and stuff. So that's why I give away, that's why probably Mr. Beast is probably the most popular. Because of him like doing giveaways. And obviously it's like the more of a notable people. Like he never gives away to like people like me who are the more smaller and like less known. He only does giveaways for like oh win a million pounds but it's a person that doesn't even need it. Like he needs to do giveaways for people that actually need the money, like a homeless person or something like that, not people that already own like two thousand grand houses and two two thousand pounds of like cars, like he needs to focus on like people that actually need it. Because if it's one thing I really hate, is when YouTubers give away stuff or oh, big companies give away like, giveaways, and then you get your idiot that is like a billionaire or like can literally buy that and it and it would mean nothing entering the giveaway like people like me i enter giveaways because i actually need the stuff and then some go some um, giveaways i don't enter because i don't need it as in like a keyboard and mouse i don't enter those giveaways because i don't need it because i've not got a pc at all i've got an xbox and a tablet so i don't enter those so i give other people's chances but you get people that are just dickheads that enter stuff they really don't need they could it's, it's basically like being a billionaire and making people give you the money it's like tax evasion. It's it's just scum, I guess. But yeah, anyway, this is the video. I guess just I get to, I, I just ramble. I guess I think Q and A would be a good option. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the on the next video. <laughs>